I am joined by Robert Griffin III, James White, Field Yates, Mina Kimes. All right, so first play we're going to look at, second and two, one of the Patriots' first offensive plays. Let's do it. Christian Gonzalez. Uh, Look, he. we talked to uh, DeMar Demarcus Covington today at 2 p.m. He was asked about Christian Gonzalez a couple times. He said that he, Gonzo had five interceptions in practice this week. He was dialed the freak in, and uh, he came out. He balled just like we kind of expected. There was a storyline throughout training camp that, you know, he might not be uh, – might not be the guy he was early on and that, you know, th there's a little bit of a fraud factor and he was getting all that nonsense. He put it to bed immediately. Now, he was on Jamar Chase for a lot of the game. Jamar Chase was questionable with the contract coming in. We didn't know about T. Higgins. But ultimately, how did they line up Gonzo on Chase? Because it wasn't all the time. They split it up. Zone, man, he was in the slot. He was in, um, again, he was playing zone on the outside. But there was also times where he followed him all around the formation. So, Break it down. What did you see from Gonzo? Did he truly shadow him? And how did he have such an impressive contest against Jamar Chase? So he did truly shadow Jamar Chase. Every single time he was in man coverage, he was across from Jamar Chase. He even followed Jamar Chase into the slot on a couple of reps where they played cover two. That was where you saw uh, Christian Gonzalez play the deep middle in cover two, which is usually reserved for a linebacker or a box safety who's at either that second level or sometimes when they drop from the middle of the field. And he also played an inverted coverage where he went to the deep half, even though it looked like maybe he was going to play more of a cloud technique where you're basically jamming the uh, wide receiver and trying to funnel him to a safety behind you. Gonzo was that safety. The only reps that Jamar Chase wasn't across for, or I'm sorry, Gonzo wasn't across from Jamar Chase were plays where Chase was in the slot and typically motioned where they really just wanted to keep Gonzo outside. That only happened three times though. So this was a true shadow game plan. Only if Christian Gonzalez was playing that cloud technique did you see him not line up from Jamar Chase. Could be a preview for what we're going to see next week against DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. One of the best matchups I think that's going to be happening in the NFL, period. Yeah. Because even Marcus Jones and JSM, that's going to be an interesting one, even though there's a size mismatch. But John Jones and Tyler Lockett, too undersized guys who are still very fast and highly competitive two of the toughest guys uh you know given their size at their respective positions dk metcalf freaking beast he didn't do a whole lot against pat sertan last uh, uh last weekend i have to watch the tape to see why that was exactly but he's like an aj brown type where you just don't see guys that are that big that fast that physical and also nuanced as route runners but jamar chase is a great test because he's one of the freakiest athletes not the biggest guy, but a guy who does play big, is fast, and is an excellent route runner. Christian Gonzalez locked him up. The yep. only plays in man coverage that Gonzo lost against Jamar Chase were plays where he got picked off. Now, honestly, looking back at it, I don't think that was even much on Gonzo. Sometimes I think that maybe the guys around him could have shown more awareness. I'm actually kind of curious if we get to talk to Mike Pellegrino, how he thinks about that. I didn't want to ask Marcus Covington. I feel like that's a little too specific for a defensive sure. coordinator. But yeah, for the most part, Gonzo did a great job, but there were also, there was one small thing that I thought he could have done better, but he actually improved on later in the game. I'll dive into that. But first, I want to show this rep. If you saw the night that I this <laughs> this is it oh, so i have the it's funny I'll, I'll i just want to preface because i don't know if anybody was watching and not for some reason not listening to you and watching my face i have it pulled up on my other screen and i watched this first clip and i went oh man because you watch his hips right so i'll let taylor break it down but basically chase chase tries to get inside leverage on gonzalez and tries to run like an out route type thing and he just gets completely smothered so taylor go ahead and break it down so here it is. I'll just run it once so you can see. Oh, my God. I literally got chills when I saw it. <laughs> I got chills this time, too. And another thing about this is not only is it a great rep from Christian Gonzalez, but he also does a great job helping out the pass rush. And that was something that stood out in this game was the Patriots. If the back end wasn't, you know, able to hold up or made a mistake, the pass rush got to Joe Burrow before he could capitalize. And there were times where the pass rush needed another tick or two to get home. And the coverage allowed them to do that. Christian Gonzalez also on the back end, they did a great job of that. So one, I believe this is just going to be like a post and this is going to be a bracket coverage right here. So the post is basically a dead play. Yeah. And then you're going to see Jamar chase, run this out route and he's pretty much one-on-one -on -one against Christian Gonzalez. So like you said, he gets that inside leverage. Gonzo is looking at the hips. You see where his eyes are? Mm -hmm. That's what the great corners do. You look at the hips. Cause if you're looking at the head, the head fakes can completely throw you off. But with hips, it's not foolproof. You know, the guys, the wide receivers that have really slippery hips, that's what makes them scary is they can 
flip one way and then go the other, and it's seamless. Right. Jamar Chase is one of those guys, but so is Christian Gonzalez. So once again, right on the hip, looking at his hips, and then Christian Gonzalez is playing his outside leverage. Jamar Chase tries to cut underneath him. Donzo does a great job using his hands to stay in phase without interference. <laughs> That's insane. This is tough. He doesn't panic. He doesn't get flagged. He just uses it to make sure that he can still maintain his position. Let's see. Oh, man, this is not working out for me. All right, whatever. It's fine. There we go. Maintains position and is right on Jamar Chase's hip the entire route. And then look at what happens when Joe Burrow finishes his play fake, all right? He's set with a big-ass pocket. He's yep. got a lot of room back there. If he wants to step up, he can. Obviously, you see the rush maybe getting here, maybe getting home there. But if this is a play where Jamar Chase gets open right here and gets that separation, Joe Burrow can just step up and make yeah. the throw. But there's nowhere to go with the ball. Instead, he has to scramble, and Jawan Bentley right here does a good job chasing him down and corralling him. Joe Burrow did get out of the pocket a few too many times for my liking. Um, in this game, some reasons that were correctable, some where it's just that's what happens, but run this one more time. Great job by the coverage. You also see at the top, like I mentioned, this receiver is bracketed by these two players, so there's not a whole lot doing there. The ability to him to, for him to just, again, flip his hips like that when – Chase does get under him. Like t uh, technically speaking, it's not like it's not like Gonzo was able to block him out from getting getting his position, but he's just right on him. He, I don't under I, I don't you don't see this a lot in the NFL. Like there are corners that do this, but for him to seamlessly just say, "Oh, okay, he's going out this way," and you mentioned it too. I'm not going to panic. I just know where you are, and I'm right on your ass. Like that's that is the good stuff. That is why this kid is going to be legit for you know a long time in this league. And it's one thing to have the physical tools to do this. It's another to have the poise. And that's right. why when people were saying like, oh, Gonzalez has only played one game in his, or like a, a less than four games in his career. And now we're anointing him this like great player. I know we won defensive rookie of the month, whatever. No, going back to college, this kid does not panic. Right. Now, obviously every player has things they could clean up. He wasn't perfect in this game. And we'll get to that. But the fact that not only is he athletically gifted enough to make plays like this, but also doesn't get flagged, knows how to use his hands to stay in position without getting in trouble. That's a huge testament to his game and why he is truly an elite cornerback. And I think is going to rise up the ranks and establish himself as a top five corner this season. For sure. Um, all right, let's move on to the next one, because this is a look that I don't like from this defense. Uh, I really don't like it. Um, I'll let you I'll let you play it through, but this is third and short, and they have Gonzo, I think, in zone again because he's not manned up on Chase. Cover zero. It's cover he's, zero. But he's also not like he has no help out there. So go ahead, explain it, and I'll give no. my opinion after. And look, you're not wrong, but that's what this is supposed to be. So right. the Patriots only played two snaps of cover zero against the Bengals. Now, that was also partially because what they would do is they would show cover zero and then rotate to some kind of cover two or some other type of zone coverage to try to throw Joe Burrow off. Like mm -hmm. Kyle Duggar and Juwan Bentley mentioned that disguising their coverages was a big part of what they wanted to do against a cerebral quarterback like Joe Burrow. But what you're seeing here, they're doing exactly what they say they're going to do. This is cover right. zero. They're sending the heat. The intention here is to force Joe Burrow to throw the ball quickly. You don't want him holding onto the ball and letting anybody get downfield so they can convert. And this is a third and long situation. So I don't mind the play because basically, like the Patriots missed three tackles all game. Mm -hmm. It felt like they didn't miss a beat from last season. They are still one of the best tackling defenses in the league. And we saw that this summer because they had one of the most intense training camps, I'm sure, that happened around the entire NFL. Yep. So what Demarcus Covington is saying here is, Hey, corners, defensive backs, I'm trusting you. When uh, Joe Burrow throws this ball, you're going to make the tackle short of the sticks. Gonzalez is fully capable of making that play. We even saw last year, I think the play that he broke up in the first game of his career uh, where they threw it, to, I think it was Devontae Smith, and he forced the incompletion. Oh, on yeah. Yep. Or something like that. It was the same thing where he knew the ball had to come out. He, stayed, he kept his feet planted, drove on the ball, and was able to make a play. Here, he makes a slight mistake. Remember John Jones's play, the one we're all giving him credit for, the fourth yeah. and two, where he fires downhill and makes the stop? The reason he was able to do that against a receiver who had, what was it, like 30 pounds on him or something yeah. like that? The reason he did it was because as soon as that ball was thrown, he was waiting for it, ran downhill, and had such a big head of steam that the size difference didn't make as much of a, an impact. Gonzo's actually a little bit bigger than Jamar Chase. I think he's like an inch taller and like five mm -hmm. pounds heavier or something like that. So in this situation, he has the advantage. But look what he does. There. That was all it Yeah, took. he shuffles too he much, did. right. He doesn't need to do this. He 
is beyond the sticks, right? So Jamar right. Chase to be any kind of threat would not only not only would Burrow need time, he would have to get on Gonzo's heels. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm doing. <laughs> I no, tell you're you, fine. I was letting go on the wrong screen. That's hilarious. <laughs> but what happens is, um, instead of just staying on his heels and making this tackle, he does take those two steps back and look at what it does. Two steps back, two yards past the first. It's that simple. Jamar Chase yeah. fights for extra yards. So what you'd like him to do here is say, all right, I dare you. You know, throw this ball or try to get past me. I don't think you're going to be able to do it. Instead, he takes that one backpedal and it gives up his momentum. Obviously, he's still coming downhill. But imagine if instead of having to recover while coming downhill, he has an entire head of steam because he's just shooting out of the game. Right. He's on He's on him when the ball's on his chest instead of he's on him when he takes two steps inside to try and knife for the first. Exactly. So it's a very small mistake. But it's something that like with Gonzalez, with these great players, it's hard to coach them. But it's little things like this. And Mike Pellegrino, I'm assuming, right. is going to be like, hey, man, next time just plant your heels. And he may have said it on the sideline because of the play that we're going to show next. So, uh, again, I I go back to for one oh, second. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fine. It's just I, I want to maybe not reiterate, but I look at it now from a quarterback's eyes. Right. And it's oh. it's Jamar Chase, my number one receiver. We need five, six yards against, yes, Christian Gonzalez, but he's also playing off coverage. And so I know I'm going there. The world knows I'm going here because especially when I think it's Duggar comes off the edge, there's no help out there besides Christian Gonzalez. And yeah, you we can, we can say what you will um, about Gonzo's ability versus Chase, but everybody I know, I he, he has this hitch and I'm throwing him this football. I just, I almost like, Maybe I wish they had more help out there. Not a thing against Gonzo, but it just feels like maybe play him up more. But I guess it answers your, the that and the, your analysis of it answers my question where he was on him. He was covered. He just instead of maybe not trusting those first initial steps, trust yourself, watch borrow, make sure I know he's coming here. And yeah, you're right. If he doesn't make those two steps, he doesn't get those three extra yards. He just tackles them once the ball's on him and it doesn't even give him an ability to shake them or make a play because I'm already here when the ball's here. It's not like there's any separation between us. So exactly. So I understand the mentality, but that's also why it's like, I'm standing beyond the sticks. Are you really going to be able to get this far without my pass rush getting me? Right. That's true. And then, then, you know, one thing that I, I feel like some people may say is why wouldn't you have Jamar chase run like a slant? Because if he runs a slant and there's no one here, it's probably a touchdown because even with Gonzalez flat footed, especially even if he drives on it, that's a tough play to make. Right. That's a touchdown. One thing to keep in note that the Patriots don't do it here. A lot of defenses will actually have one of these guys who's off the line of scrimmage. So you see there's two defenders mugging right here. That yeah. are standing up. What will often happen is if the protection slides towards them, they'll pop out. So these guys can just pop into this space knowing that something that a lot of offenses are going to want to throw a slant and then get in the window and like deflect it or pick it off. I think Jelani Tavai and Kyle Duggar have both had pass breaks ups in the past couple of years where that kind of thing happens. So, and Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, I was just going to say, and if a slant is coming and Gonzo knows that they have an all out pressure, he's not going to have enough time to run a double team. So he doesn't even have to like, he doesn't even have to guess. He can just fire right into that slant window, basically similar to like what Malcolm Butler did, because there's no way they're going to have enough time for a double team because they have, they have the leverage. They have the guys along the line of scrimmage that Barrow is not going to have time to get a second, like a double move on him. Exactly. All right, so now this is where the improvement comes. Now, this isn't the same thing, right? You see that Jamar Chase is in the slot this time. They're both in the slot. Gonzo uh, shadowing him as the number three there. But what you're going to see is instead of that quick back pedal, where as soon as the ball is snapped, you saw Gonzo take those couple steps, he's going to be patient and wait until Jamar actually declares his route. So let's see real quick. Now, this is a, a deeper downfield route, so Chase ends up running into him. But look, just look, the ball is snapped. And look, Gonzo's not moving. He's kind right. of leaning back, but he's not backpedaling. He waits still. Now he starts his backpedal, right? Yeah. But Jamar Chase is already pretty far downfield. If this ball was going to come out faster, he would have been in a better position. But at least this time he gives it those extra precious seconds mm-hmm. and then is able to anticipate the route coming into his leverage and completely swallow it. Because once again, he knows that the defense – is in cover zero where you got Duggar taking the back. I think this is Marcus Jones on uh, uh, Yoshivas. Yoshivas. Yeah. And then all these guys basically one-on-one 
Joe Burrow's got to get the ball out of his hands fast. So in-game learning from Christian Gonzalez, really impressive from him. Like I said, stuff that all these guys got to work on no matter how good you are, but it's really cool to see a young player like this who we want needs to be great this season for the defense, especially with no more Judon, far more out indefinitely, being able to make this kind of play after having a mistake earlier. In the game. Good stuff. You can we move on to the next one with him in the slot as well. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. So, oh wait, I actually, oh wait, that was my mistake. I didn't mean to include that play. We can go ahead. That's all that good. Was, Perfect. Was well, <laughs> all right, was, well, it was literally just a stick. There was no significance. I, I, uh, clipped the video poorly. Totally fine. But, uh, Ke we'll go to Keon White in a second, but I, I just wanted to reiterate the thing at the end we had, uh, about Gonzo where I, in that cover zero look originally on third down, I didn't like the look, but it's, it makes a ton of sense that he, they, they had the look they wanted. He just backpedaled and wasn't able to make the tackle on first down for those first, you know, a couple two, um, two, three yards. And then you mentioned it already, but he learns from it and he does the same thing. But instead of backpedaling and trying to give himself, uh, I'm, I'm sitting here firing my feet like I'm this excited and having like <laughs> trying to explain like what, what's going on. But instead of him kind of backpedaling and foot firing and making sure he's in position. He just stays calm. He's like, no, I trust myself. I know where I think I know where Chase is going to go and I can figure out which way, what direction he's going to move and take him on. And, and again, trust myself against this guy. So awesome stuff from Gonzo. I am so excited to see what they do and see him match up uh, against DK and Metcalf next week. Cause again, I was listening to Andrew Callahan on NBC the other day. He's like, Every week with Gonzo, it feels like, all right, well, what about next week? And what about next week? And because he's played so many elite receivers to start his career, the next murderers one's DK. Row. It's a yeah. murderer's row. He hasn't failed once. So uh, I'm excited to see what they do uh, against that Seahawks team. Support us and sign up at Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS or download the app today and use code CLNS at prizepicks.com slash CLNS and get $50 instantly when you play $5.